Hey guys, in today's tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to crochet these baby eggplants and I'll first talk about these two right here. These are both made with a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook, but as you can see, this one right here turned out a tiny bit smaller than the one on my left and that's because for this one, I did use the 99 cents through yarn for the purple and then the AliExpress yarn on the top. I do have a review for both of the yarns and if you did watch it, you know that this purple yarn is on the thinner side, so that's why it did turn out a tiny bit smaller than this one. So this one right here is made with the big twist value yarn for the top and the bottom and then this is just how they both look compared next to each other i do like the color on this one but if you did watch my review on the yarn you know that i wasn't a huge fan of the 99 cent store yarn when it's done um it feels fine but as you're crocheting it i do feel like it can be rough on the skin um i'm not i think the big twist value yarn does have a purple kind of similar to this but yeah so you can definitely change up the colors and you can also change up your hook size if you want it to be a bit bigger also, I did add a keyring to this one because I love my keychains, but if you did watch my mango tutorial, you know that I added yarn to the top of it so you can hang it in your car. I didn't end up leaving it in my car, but if you wanted to do the same thing here, you can definitely add it to the top instead of doing a keyring. But these eggplants are pretty easy to make, so if you're interested in making one of these, I'll let you know what you'll need in the next couple of clips. I'll be using a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook, a stitch marker, scissors, a hot glue gun, stuffing, I don't remember the exact color of this yarn, but it is the Big Twist value yarn and it is a weight of four. And the purple yarn I will be using is also from Big Twist and this one is in the color Grape. For round one, let's first start off with a magic circle and let's use our purple yarn. So to create the magic circle, what I like to do is just hold the yarn on my fingers and then take my thumb to place it on top. Then I'll take the yarn and wrap it around my fingers, but once I get back to the front, I'm going to create an X. Now with the rest of the yarn, I'm just going to bring it back down, and then I'll take my pinky and just hold it down on the yarn, not too tightly, because I will need to use this yarn to pull through. Okay, so with my crochet hook, I'm going to go inside the circle, and I'm going to grab this front yarn and pull it through. So let's take our crochet hook, go inside the circle, grab that front yarn and pull it through, and as I pull it through, I'm just going to twist up a bit. So now I have a loop on my hook. I'm then going to take my crochet hook and grab this yarn one more time. So I'm just going to go under just like that. And this time I'm just going to pull it through this loop that's on my hook. And then I'll just let go so you can see the circle. And as I let go, I'm just going to now tighten it. And there is our magic circle. Then I'm just going to adjust my circle a bit and I'm going to pull on the string or the yarn and there you can see it just turns a little bit smaller. We're going to single crochet six times into our circle and as we single crochet we have to go around this circle and this yarn as well because this is how it's going to adjust the circle. So to do a single crochet let's go inside our circle, grab this yarn and pull it through. We have our two loops on the hook, let's yarn over and pull through both of the loops. That was a single crochet. I'll demonstrate that two more times slowly. So I'm gonna go take my crochet hook, go inside the circle. I'm grabbing this yarn and pulling it through. I have my two loops on the hook. I'm yarning over, pulling through both loops. That was my second single crochet. Now one more time, let's go inside our circle, grab that yarn, pull it through. Two loops on my hook, I'm yarning over, pulling through both. So I just did three, I need to do three more to get a total of six. So I'm just gonna tighten the circle just a bit more. But now let's go for four and then five. Now after my fifth one, I like to pull on this yarn to make it smaller. And then I'll do my last single crochet into the circle. So just go in, grab that yarn, pull it through, two loops on my hook, yarn over, pull through both. And now we can take our stitch marker and place it into the last stitch because we are now done with round one. For round two, we're going to increase into each one of our stitches. So to do that, let's first do our single crochet into this first stitch right here. I know it's kind of hard to see with this dark purple, but we're gonna go into this stitch, grab this yarn, pull it through. There's my two loops on the hook, yarn over, and pull through both. So that was one single crochet into the first stitch, but to do an increase, I need to do that one more time into the same stitch. So let's go into that same stitch, 
to do another single crochet. There's the two loops on the hook. I'm yarning over and pulling through both. So that was an increase into the first stitch. Now we're just going to repeat that all the way through until we get 12 stitches in total for round two, but I will demonstrate once more. So going into my next stitch, I'm going to go in with my first single crochet. So I just insert my hook through, pull that yarn through. There's my two loops on the hook, yarning over, pulling through both. So that was one. I need to do one more into the same stitch to make this an increase. Oops, I didn't pull all of the yarn. There we go. There's my two loops yarning over, pulling through both. Okay, so now I'm just going to repeat that all the way through until I get 12 stitches in total for round two. Remember, it's just an increase into each one of the stitches. So I'll be back after I finish round two. We go on to round three now. We're going to do another increasing round. So let's first start off with an increase into that first stitch right here. So remember, that's two single crochets into that one stitch because it is an increase. So I just did one, going in again to that same stitch, pulling the yarn through. There's the two loops on the hook. I'm yarning over, pulling through both. Now into the following stitch, I have to do one single crochet, just one into that stitch. Okay, so now I'm going to repeat those two steps all the way through until I get 18 stitches in total, and I'll demonstrate once more. So we're only repeating two steps, which is starting off with an increase. So let's go into our next stitch and do an increase. So that's one and two into that same stitch. Remember, that's an increase. And then into the next stitch after that, we this one right here, we have to do one single crochet. So going in, pulling the yarn through, two loops on my hook, yarning over, pulling through both. So now I'm just going to repeat that all the way through until I get my 18 stitches in total in round three. So just going in with my increase now. And then into the next one, I'll do a single crochet. So now I'm just going to finish this off camera and then I'll be right back for round four. All right, so for round four, we're taking it easy because we're just doing all single crochets. So this row is just going to end up with 18 stitches because we aren't changing anything. So just go ahead and single crochet into each one of these stitches and then I'll be back after I finish this off camera. I won't show too many because um, they are just single crochets. And then if you just need a reminder, let's just go into our stitch, grab this yarn, pull it through, two loops on my hook, yarning over, pulling through both. So now I'll just finish this off camera and then I'll be right back. Remember round four is all single crochets. I just finished round four and this is what it currently looks like. So you can see that it starts to curve just a bit more. And right now we are working on the bottom of the eggplant. So let's now go on to the next row or round. And for this round, it's actually our last increasing round. So let's first start off with an increase into our first stitch. So here's my first stitch. Let's just go in. That was my first single crochet. And my second into the same stitch because once again, this is an increase. Now we're going to follow that by single crocheting into the next one, two stitches. So just one single crochet into each of those. So I just did one, moving on to the next stitch to do my second single crochet. Now I just have to repeat that all the way through until I get 24 stitches in total in round five, and I'll demonstrate once more. So going into my next stitch, to repeat those steps, I will start off with an increase. So going into that stitch to do my increase, I, just, I did my first single crochet and my second. Now I'm going to, that was an increase, now I'm going to single crochet into the next one, two stitches. So that was one. Going into the next stitch to do one single crochet. So now I'll just repeat that until I get 24 stitches in total and I'll demonstrate once more since this is the last increase or increasing round. So going into my next stitch, I'm going in with an increase. So that was one and two into the seam stitch. Now I'm following that by single crocheting into the next one, two stitches. So going into this one, just do one single crochet. There's my second one to do another single crochet. Okay, so now I'm just going to repeat that until I get 24 stitches in total in round five. 
After round five, this is what it looks like. So now we're just going to create some length. So for this part, we're just doing single crochet rounds. So I'm going to be doing three rounds of all single crochets, which means you're not going to have any stitch count changes. So let's go into our first stitch and we're just doing all single crochets. So I will be finishing the rest of this off camera, but um, I will be doing three rounds, which means it's rounds six to eight that I'm just going to do all single crochet. So remember, there's going to be no... Um, Oh, sorry, I just got a message. Okay, so um, just to repeat myself because I forgot where I left off, but um, rounds six to eight, just do all single crochets. We want to create our length. And in each of those rounds, you will end up with 24 stitches in total. Just finished my single crochet rounds and here's what it looks like. So now we're going to go back to our decreases because we are kind of almost done so for round nine let's start off with a decrease and i will be showing you how to do the invisible decrease so into these first two stitches here we're going to go into the front loop only so take your crochet hook and insert it into the front loop by pushing through the middle so that's what it looks like then you're going to bend your hook down just a tad bit and repeat to the stitch after that so bend it down and then push it right through the middle so now I have my three loops on the hook and it is going to be kind of tight moving it around. But what you have to do now is yarn over your hook and pull through the front two loops. So I just did one, two. So now I have two loops left on the hook. So we're going to yarn over and pull through the last two loops on the hook. And that was an invisible decrease. Now you're going to follow that by single crocheting into the next one, two stitches. So let's go into this first one and do our first single crochet. Then going into the next stitch, you're going to do another single crochet. So ignore all the little fuzzies in this background. You can see it's flying everywhere. But now let's just um, repeat that all the way through until we get back to 18 stitches in total in this round. I'll demonstrate the decrease once more. So going into our next stitch, we're just going to take our hook and push it through the middle because we're going into the front loop only. So now I'm going to bend my hook down and repeat to the next stitch by just pushing it through the middle. There's our three loops on our hook. Let's yarn over, pull through the front one, two loops. We have two loops left on the hook, yarn over, pull through the last two loops on the hook. And there I have some dog hair. Now we're going to single crochet into the next one, two stitches. So let's just do one single crochet into each of those. And now my hook and yarn are squeaking. Okay, so now I'm just going to repeat that all the way through until I get 18 stitches, but I'll show the decrease one more time. So going into my next stitch, push it through the front loop, bend my hook down, do the same thing to the next stitch, pushing it through the front, there's the three loops on the hook, yarning over, pulling through the first two loops, two loops left on the hook, yarn over, pull with the last two. Then I'll follow that by single crocheting into the next two stitches. So that was one, and then going into the next stitch to do another. So now I'll just be back after I'm done doing my decreases. After your decreasing round, this is what it looks like. So you can see it slightly starts to curve in a bit, but we don't want it to curve in too much. So what we're going to do now, oops, I didn't close this. What we're going to do now is a couple single crochet rows, so rounds. Um, so. I'm going to do four rounds of all single crochets, which means it's going to be rounds 10 to 13. So I'm just going in with all single crochets and you're going to end up with 18 stitches in each of those rounds because we're not changing anything. We're just making um, our length of the top of the eggplant. So I'll be back after I finish rounds 10 to 13. Remember, just single crochet those rounds. And then after that, we just have two more before we finish this off. I meant to say two more rounds, but yeah, I'll be back after I finish rounds 10 to 13. After four rounds of single crochets, this is what it looks like. Almost kind of looks like a peanut. But um, now we can just go ahead and stuff our eggplant. You don't have to stuff it up too much because we do have two more rounds to work with. And um, 
after the next round you can add a little bit more stuffing but this is all i'm going to add for now and now i'm going to move on to round 14. for rounds 14 we're going to start off with a decrease so here's my two stitches that i'm going to go into the front loop only so just taking my hook pushing it through bending it down doing the same thing to the next stitch remember just push it through the middle we have our three loops on the hook yarn over pull through the first two loops yarn over pull through the last two loops now we have to follow that by single crocheting into the next stitch and then we're just going to repeat those two steps all the way through until we get 12 stitches in total and i'll demonstrate once more so going into my next stitch i'm just taking my hook pushing it through the middle bending my hook down doing the same thing to the next stitch i now have my three loops on the hook i'm yarning over pulling through the first two loops yarn over pull through the last two loops and then into the next stitch i'll do one single crochet so now i'm just going to repeat this all the way through until i get my 12 stitches in total in round 14. also after i finish this round i will stuff this up just a bit more so i'll be back after i finish rounds 14. Just finished round 14 and as you can see i did stuff it up just a bit more so um now let's go on to round 15 which is our last round we're actually just doing i took my stitch marker out because we don't need to keep track of it anymore we're just going to do decreases to close this up and um, i'm going to do my invisible decreases so um let's go into the front loop and i am holding the eggplant instead of like holding it in the middle because i feel like it's kind of hard since it's so small but let's go into the front loop of that first stitch bend your hook down do the same thing to the next stitch there's the three loops on the hook i'm yarning over pulling through the first two loops yarn over pull through the last two i'm gonna do that about two to three times so let's go into the next stitch do another decrease also if this top um doesn't turn out as nice it's okay because we are going to be attaching the green part to cover it so you can see I, I accidentally pulled some of the stuffing but that's okay so i'm going to do it one more time if i can get through okay i think i have to hold it okay i just did my third decrease and then actually i think that's enough i'm gonna weave it closed so um let me grab my scissors really quick and cut this off you don't need to cut it off too much but um after you do that just pull it straight out and then take your crochet hook and go into the next stitch push it through and then grab your yarn and pull it through that stitch and then just keep repeating that until you get all the way around so just take your hook through take that yarn and grab it through keep doing that until you get back to where you started going into this next one i'm gonna pull it right now to see what it will it'll close okay so it got kind of close actually that's good enough oh no let me do one more so let's go into the next stitch actually let's grab a threading needle never mind i'm just going to use my crochet hook i was going to get a threading needle but i don't want to go back to edit in that you need a threading needle in the beginning of this video so take your crochet hook and just insert it into a stitch on the other side so you can see my yarn is currently here i inserted it to the other side i'm just going to grab this yarn and pull it through that stitch so you can see it kind of closed it up and then i'm going to take my crochet hook and insert it into the stitch across again so you can see it's through a stitch i'm taking the yarn but pull it through but don't pull it all the way just enough until you have this loop here and then with this yarn just pull it through the loop and then with the rest of the yarn push it back into the middle so you can use it as stuffing if you want to cut it off you can do that but i like to just add this additional yarn in there because i don't really like to waste the yarn and then if the opening is um full, isn't fully closed again that's okay because we are going to be adding the 
the stem part to the top so it's going to cover it anyways but yes we are now done with this eggplant bottom so now let's get our green yarn to work on the top oh, also let me just show you again this is what mine looks like so you can see there's a tiny bit of an opening but it won't matter guys okay, so now working with our green yarn let's start off with a magic circle once again so let's take our yarn i like to hold it against my fingers place my thumb on top to keep it in place then I'll take the yarn, wrap it around my fingers, and once I get back to the top, I'll create that X. And then I'll bring it back down, take my pinky, place it onto that back of the yarn, just so it can stay in place for now. Then let's take our crochet hook, insert it inside the circle, grab that front part of the X, pull it through, and twist it up. You now have a loop on the hook. Then we're going to take our crochet hook and grab this yarn once more. Pull it through the loop that's on the hook. I'll let go so you can see the circle. Then I'll tighten it up. And now we can begin round one. So similar to the purple, we're going to single crochet six times into the circle. So let's take our crochet hook, go into the circle, grab the yarn, pull it through. There's our two loops on the hook. Yarn over and pull through both. So you need six, so let's go in again. Take that yarn, pull it through, two loops on the hook, yarning over, pulling through both. So that was two, three, again go in the circle, grab the yarn, pull it through, two loops on our hook, yarn over, pull through both. That's four, this is five, and when we do our fifth one, I like to take the yarn, pull on it until it gets really tight, and then you see you have a little opening still to do your last single crochet. Oops, didn't grab all of the yarn. And this right here is six, and now we are done with round one. Okay, so for round two and three, I'm not going to insert a stitch marker into that last stitch because I can keep track of it. But if you feel like you're going to lose track, go ahead and put a stitch marker in. But for round two and three, they're only going to be single crochet, so I just have to count six each time. So it's going to be pretty easy to keep count. But um, I'm going to go into that first stitch and do a single crochet. So I'm just taking the yarn, pulling it through. There's a two loops on the hook, yarning over, pulling it through both. And I like to push it down because I want this to be the outside of the stem. So as I go around, um, I don't want it to curl back up. So I'm just gonna keep pushing it down, but here is two, three, four, five and then this is six so i just did round two right there i'll do round three off camera because it's just going to be another single crochet row but as i was mentioning before i don't want it to curve this way for this to be the outside because that's where the yarn is for where the magic circle is so that's why i do push it down to make sure this is um what i'm going to have as the look because this is going to be the top of the stem but um for round three just do a single crochet round if you need a stitch marker please put it in but i'm gonna do this one off camera and i know this is really tight like the space right here so just take your time with it because i know it can be a bit of a hassle to work in such small spaces but i will do round three off camera and then I'll be right back. After round three, this is what it looks like. It just gave it a tiny bit more length for the top portion. But now let's move on to round four again. Oh, sorry, I forgot to mention, but um, I did add a stitch marker to that last stitch of round three. So now moving on to round four, we're going to increase. Thankfully, we need this piece to be a little bit bigger so we can manage it. But um, we're going to increase into each one of the stitches. So let's go into our first stitch right here and do one single crochet and another one into the same stitch because this is an increase and then if you repeat that in each one of these stitches you should end up with 12 in total so i'll demonstrate once more going into this next stitch i'm sorry it's a little bit difficult to hold okay there we go so going into the next stitch that's one and my second one into the same stitch. So now I'm just going to repeat this all the way through until I get my 12 stitches in total. Just an increase, oh my gosh, an increase into each one of the stitches. I tried to find another way um, 
so we wouldn't have to work in a small space but i just felt like doing the magic circle and the six um rows or i mean sorry the six stitches was just i like the look of it better but yeah so that's why it's a little bit hard but i feel like it looks pretty nice and then there goes my yarn All right, anyways, so I will finish this off camera. I'm just going to increase into each one of the stitches and then I'll be right back. After round four, this is what it looks like. Our tiny little increase there. And then now let's move on to round five, which is going to be our last round. We're just going to single crochet this entire round. So you're going to end up with 12 stitches in total because we're not changing anything. So just go ahead and single crochet this round and we can move on to the little, uh, those little pointy parts on the top of this. So I'll be back after I finish single crocheting this round. Remember, you should still end up with 12 stitches because we're not changing anything. Okay, so now that we did a round of just all single crochets, this is what it looks like. And I did remove my stitch marker because we don't need it anymore. So to begin these next uh, steps, let's first start off by chaining three. So a chain is yarning over your hook and pulling through. I just did a chain of one, yarn over, pull through for two, yarn over, pull through for three. So now that we have a chain of three, we're going to go back down and we're going to do that by first um, single crocheting. So let's, you don't want to go into the chain that's closest to your hook. You're going into that middle one. So the second one there, and we're going to do a single crochet. So take your crochet hook, insert it into that chain, pull this yarn through. We have our two loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through both. Now into the next one, we're going to do a half double crochet. So to do a half double crochet, let's yarn over our hook, go into that next chain, grab this yarn, pull it through. We have three loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through all three. So that was a half double crochet. Now let's go back down into the chain, or sorry, um, into the bottom part here. And we're going to single crochet three times. So, um, I know it might be kind of hard to see, but you're not going into this one right here because that's where your stitch was originally at. You're going into this guy, so this one right here. Okay, so let me try to explain that again. So I'm not going into this one right here because this is uh, literally where the chain was. So I'm going into this next stitch, so this one here, and I'm going to do a single crochet. So I just did one single crochet. I need to do three, so going into the next one. And then the next one, another single crochet, because I had to do three. So now in that third one, I'm going to repeat the same thing I did right here for this little pointy thing. So let's chain three. Let's yarn over our hook, pull through for one, yarn over two, yarn over three. And then we're going to go back down into the chain. So let's go into that middle chain there. And we're going in with a single crochet. There's the two loops on the hook, yarning over, pulling through both. And then now we're going to do a half double crochet into the last chain. So yarn over your hook, go through that last chain, grab some yarn and pull it through. We have three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through all three. Now we have to single crochet three times, and then you're gonna go into this one here. So going into this one, that was one. Going into the next stitch, so the second one here. And then going into the third stitch, so this one right here. And now into that third one, we're going to do another one of the pointies. I don't know what to call these things. So let's chain three. I just yarned over, pull through for one, yarn over two, yarn over three. And then I'm going to go back down. So going into that middle chain, I'm going to single crochet. And then I'll do my half double crochet into the last chain. I'll do that by yarning over, going through that last chain grabbing some yarn, pulling it through. I have my three loops on the hook. I'm yarning over, pulling through all three. And then we have to single crochet three times. So going into this next stitch, I'm doing my first one, going into the next stitch to do another single crochet, and then the stitch right after that to do my last single crochet. And then we have to do this one last time. So let's chain three, yarn over your hook, pull through for one, yarn over for two, yarn over for three. And then let's go into that middle chain with a single crochet. So insert your hook through, grab that yarn, pull it through, 
two loops on my hook, yarning over, pulling through both. And then into that last one, we're doing a half double crochet, so yarn over your hook, go through that last chain, grab some yarn, pull it through. We have three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through all three. And then you can just now single crochet. So here is one, two, I'm just gonna do two because um, I'm now going to cut off some of the yarn. So I'm going to cut off about this much. And then I'm just going to pull it through. I'm sorry, I'm going to pull it out. And then into that last stitch that I didn't single crochet into, I'm going to take my crochet hook and I'm going to insert it into that stitch. I'm going to take this yarn and pull it through the stitch. Just pull it straight out. And then that's how I ended off. I'm going to take the hot glue to place it back in the inside, but um, here's what it looks like now that I haven't glued it on, but I'm gonna put this on like this with the hot glue. So with this, the pieces of yarn in the inside, you can just kind of push it back in or cut it out, whatever you feel um, like you want to do, but I'm just gonna, let me see if I can stuff all of it. Yeah, I'm gonna stuff all of it in there like this. And then I'm going to add the hot glue, so I'll be right back. And the lighting might change in the next clip because I need to um, use the outlet for the glue. Alright, so I think my glue gun is heated now, so I'm just going to take it and oh my gosh, all that hair, please ignore. I'm just going to insert it into the middle first. And then you can kind of lift these up to insert, only insert a tiny amount before it spreads out to the outside. Now after you glued on the top part, you are done with your eggplant. If you want it, you can add a key ring. I'm not going to add it to this one, but that is basically the end of this tutorial. I think it turned out so cute. I want to thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one.